Right, ladies and gentlemen, in all my years of sort of collecting ephemera and items, I've never seen anything quite like this. It's a wonderful item of railway honour and of, of sewing history interest. Uh, it's a museum piece, I would think, really. Um, it's a folding sort of plate from, um, I would imagine, about 1850 and 1850s, late 1840s, early 1850s, possibly around then. Um, uh, ladies um, uh, embroidery magazine um, the, the, the um, legend here reads the, the railway travelling bag expressly designed for the English woman's domestic magazine and printed in, it's a, a chromolithograph printed it by G. Zilberman in Strasbourg and it's a tapestry design, uh, squared off tapestry design for a travelling handbag, a railway bag um, and as you can see in the centre of it is a contemporary sort of 1850 I would think, image of a steam locomotive, one of those banded wooden ones. Of, I mean, I looked up in a book today, 1848, 1850, the design seemed to be like that. Um, so I imagine this is sort of 1850s. Um, we'll just look at the condition of it. Um, it's uh, on its, um, uh, it, it's, as I say, always intended as an individual plate. There's a little tear there. There's a little nick there. Um, the bottom part of the page is, is sort of split there, but mounted within the, the, the line, it would mount beautifully. And the colours are very bright, a little dimmer than possibly here, but still very bright. But um, as I say, as a contemporary image of a train made at the time on this wonderful travelling bag, it must surely be extremely rare. Um, and as I say, really belongs in a sort of railway museum. There it is. Um, and I hope it goes to a good home. Thank you very much indeed. Tapestry design about 1850 for a railway travelling bag or the railway travelling bag. Bye.